Hi, my name is Fallen Moons, and today we're going to talk about GUIs. I've gotten a few requests to do a video on this. If you have requested something else, I will also be doing a video on it uh, in time. Um, so this is not 100% the way you would set up like a large scale system, but this is the basics that should get you started. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new Java class. And we will call this one GUI with capital G. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do here is implement the listener class because we will be making use of the inventory click event uh, to detect when the button is clicked. Um, so let's go ahead and make our first variable. This one is going to be private to this class. Uh, and it is of type inventory, and we'll just call it GUI. Um, this is going to be the GUI that we open for the player. Then we're going to create a function. So public void open new GUI, and it's going to take a player. Um, so what this is going, this function is going to do is take in a player that we want to open the GUI and opens it for them. So we're going to take that GUI object, we, uh, variable that we just created up top and we're going to set it equal to bucket dot create inventory. So this is going to create a new inventory object, uh, and we, it doesn't have an owner, so we can put null and the inventory type. You can do any inventory type. Um, there are a whole bunch of them like um, barrels, anvils, beacons, blast furnaces, uh, and just even like a chest is the most common. But I'm going to do a hopper because we're only going to have one button in here um, for now. So, so I'm going to say hopper. And so now we can go ahead and create the item that's going to act as our button in our GUI. So we're going to make a new item stack. So item stack item equals new item stack. We'll import the item stack and then we're going to have a material and I'm going to use a uh, green concrete and set the amount to one. And then because I want to set the name of this button, I'm going to do item meta meta equals item dot get item meta. This is going to allow me to um, set the name of the item and add lore and things, um, though we're only going to set the name for this. So meta dot set display name, and we can use chat colors here as well. So I'm going to use green and I'm going to say this is a button and import that chat color. Uh, the last thing to do with the meta is to set our item dot set item meta to our new meta that we just modified. Now there are two last things to do. We need to set the item that we just created our button into the GUI. So we're going to say GUI dot set item. And the index is what slot number uh, the item is going to go into. And remember, it starts at zero. So the first slot, usually the top left of the GUI, is going to be zero. So in this case, um, because we used Hopper, it has five slots. So we're going to use two. Two is going to be the middle slot. Uh, and then the item that we want is the item we just created, so item. And the, the last thing, and the reason why we took the player object in as a parameter for this function is to say player dot open inventory and we'll give it that GUI um, inventory that we just created. So this will now create a GUI and open it up um, for the player whenever we run this open new GUI function. So now we're going to create our event handler here. So event handler with our, and this is why we implemented the listener up here uh, and we're going to say public void uh, GUI click events. Uh, remember you can name your function whatever you want but it's very important that for the event that you put in here 
that you type in inventory click event as that is the event that we want to listen for. So this event fires whenever uh, an item is clicked in any inventory. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we are clicking inside the proper GUI and not like in our inventory or in a chest or something like that, just playing the game. So the way we do that is by saying if, and we want an exclamation point because we want uh, not, so if e dot get inventory dot equals uh, GUI. So what this line means, because of this exclamation point, if the inventory that fired this event is not the same one as our GUI, then do whatever is inside of here, right? And that e that we have here, e dot get inventory is this e right here. So that that's the return event or the event that fired it right so if we're accessing another inventory then we don't care we can just get out of here and just return so if we get past this point then we know that we have we're clicking inside of our gui so we'll say e dot set cancelled equals true so this will just cancel the event so when you click on the button you don't actually pick up the item and take it, it'll just, um, it'll just detect the click and then go back into the GUI. So next we want to get the player that we have. So player P, uh, equals, and we'll cast player, um, as the event dot get, um, who clicked. So Get who clicked will return what human entity clicked on the inventory, and we're just going to cast it as a player, right? So we can use all the player functions. So the last part to do is just have a switch statement for get slot. Um, so get slot will return whatever slot number was just clicked on. So we can put as many in here as we want. Um, but I'm going to say case two because that's the only one we have a button in. And all it's going to do is p dot close inventory. So close the inventory for the player when they click on it and then send them a message saying, uh, saying you clicked the button, right? And then the last thing, because we're in a switch statement, we're going to need to break out of here and that is the entire GUI script. Now I'm going to add one more thing. You could have a command to open this up or whatever you want, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to have another event handler down here. Um, public void, uh, open GUI event. Um, and I'm just going to say player drop item event. Just so this, this GUI, this is what's going to trigger my GUI to open is if a player drops an item on the ground, um, just because it's quick to implement. Uh, but you can use a command, you could use, you know, whatever you want. So I'm just going to, inside of here, run this open new GUI for e.getPlayer. And the very last thing before we compile and test this uh, is just to go under this on enable and register our listener. So we'll say get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. And we'll say uh, new GUI. And we'll give it this as the plugin. And I missed some parentheses here. And that's it. So let's go ahead and package this up and put it into the server and test it out. Okay, so when I drop this piece of dirt, we should have a, a GUI that opens, and we do. Uh, and then we can click this button here, and it says down here that we have clicked the button, um, and therefore we have a working GUI. One more thing you can also do is instead of using this GUI.create inventory, there's a couple of them. If you add a comma here, you can see you can add a title. So it won't say item hopper anymore. 
uh, you can say check color dot green or whatever you want and say like menu here or something. And if you compile that and run that, so if you test out your GUI now, you can see it says menu in the top left here, albeit a little hard to read. Uh, and we still have our button and it's clickable. So this should scale. Um, you can add as many buttons as you want or as will fit in the inventory slots you have. Uh, and you can just do a similar thing to detect uh, what button is pressed. Uh, you may want to come up with a better system for deploying each GUI, um, but there are great resources on uh, the Spigot forums for systems, as well as some libraries available to help you create lots of GUIs. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, you can hop into my Discord and I or someone else will be happy to help you, or you can leave a comment below. Uh, if you're not already uh, subscribed or following me on Twitter, you should also do that as well, because uh, I stream a lot of development stuff as well as just other games. I hope this was helpful and informative. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.